India's global ambitions are all set to get wings. Recent reports of Indian carrier Indigo ordering 30 Airbus A350-900 wide-body aircraft has put the spotlight on the international expansion of India's aviation industry. What are wide-body aircraft and what do their acquisitions mean for the sector's future? All that and more in this next report. Take a look. Air travel is all set to witness a tectonic shift in India. This shift will not only revolutionize long-distance travel in India, but also put the country on the global aviation map. Leading the charge will be two of India's biggest airlines, low-cost airline Indigo and flag carrier Air India. Indigo has placed its first ever order for 30 Airbus A350-900 wide-body aircraft. The airline could also buy at least 70 additional wide-body aircraft in the future. Indigo expects deliveries to begin in 2027 as the carrier intends to capture global markets from Gulf-based airlines. Indigo is not the first Indian carrier to harbor such an ambition. Last February, the Tata Group Run Air India ordered 70 wide-body planes, which included 20 A350-900, 20 A350-1000, 20 Boeing 787 Dreamliners, and 10 Boeing 777X. The mega order followed Tata Group's takeover of the airline, and wide-body planes are central to the flag carrier's global revamp. So what exactly are wide-body aircraft and how can they reshape India's air travel? Wide-body aircraft have the capacity to carry anywhere between 200 and 850 passengers. There are two types of wide-body aircraft, standard wide-body aircraft and bigger wide-body aircraft. The bigger type is referred to as a jumbo jet and is often a double-decker with two floors of seating. Wide-body aircraft typically have two aisles per cabin, unlike their narrow-body counterparts. Such aircraft are almost always used to operate long-distance flights spanning several countries. Long-haul flights are the centerpiece of global aviation companies located in the Gulf and Europe. Experts believe that non-stop international flights could be profitable due to strong demand and higher pricing. That's especially true for bigger markets like India, where high demand is usually not met due to poor supply. According to CAPA India, India's long-haul market is ripe for disruption, provided that Indian carriers lead the charge. India, the consultancy argues, would need about 60 wide-body flights by 2032 to cater to the growing demand. With India's middle-class growth expected to outpace China's in the next decade, Indians are likely to spend more on global travel. India's international travel has already surpassed pre-pandemic levels and is expected to reach new peaks in the coming years. But a lot about India's aviation sector will be shaped by the trajectory taken by Air India and Indigo. Bureau Report, we are Wildest One.